Perfect. Okay, uh, I I prefer hugs to smooches, you know, cause and I'll tell you why, cause like when you, when you smooch, like it, it, I'm a I'm a I'm like a smooch robber, you know. I get in, get out, I'm out the job, you know what I mean? Like I don't like long smooches, cause it's like somebody in your fa- like when somebody smooch your face, like that burns in your memory of that of them. So every time you look at their face, you imagine their faces are like so much closer to your face, and it's not a good thing, man. <laughs> You know why? You know why I like heart. I mean, you know why I like hugs. I'll tell you why I like hugs. Cause hugs is where the heart is. You know, like when you hug a girl, Aww. the heart is right there. And but also, 
That's what the titty meat is, you know? Like, you ever had the titty meat? When you hug a girl and the titty oh meat be on your chest? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, it's mutually beneficial. You know, her heart feel close to your heart, and that works for her. And that titty meat sit right between my shoulders. That's good for me. <laughs> There's, like, three levels of hornets this, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you, th- like, 18 to 24... You just want to hop on everything. Like, everything's available. There's all kinds, you know what I mean? The less clothes. Everybody go to bars, beaches. It's like, oh, shit, I got to get it, you know? But then, like, between 25 and 30, you just, like, get bored of it. Like, not bored, but you just kind of, like, lose the motivation. And then, like, 31 comes and you, like, you hit your second wave of horniness, you know? You be like, oh, shit, it's time to get going again, you know? Because, like, I don't know. Like, I'm 33, but, like... I wasn't like that creepy dude in my twenties, like nice tits. Like I wasn't that. I wasn't that dude, you know. Like I, I, I was composed, you know. But like now I'm older. Like that second wave is hitting strong, you know. Like I don't know a lot about male physiology, but like man, my my mind is different now. Cause like I seen this girl like coming out this yoga studio, and she was all like hot and sweaty and shit and glossy, you know. She had like a, a little oil sheen on her, and I was like, oh shit, I like to lick the. The titty meat condensation, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know if you're older, you lose your electrolytes, you need more sodium or something, but like, I never said that in my 20s. And I, like, the gloss got me. I was like, ooh, because, like, I never, like, I never said dude. Like, I never said dude, like, ooh, I want to taste. Like, but now it's like, ooh, shit. I don't know. Could you imagine if we lived in a world? Where women sexually harass dudes? Because <laughs> I want to do this, right? You see a bunch of this in pictures? <laughs> Ooh, like your teeth, I won't see. But what if we live in a world where women unsolicited perform mandatory bit checks at any moment? Get checked, and you see, you got busted. Sales is through the roof. 
And she starts to write out the check. She says, I give you a check, but you gotta drop your pants and do the Louisiana boo thing. <laughs> and he didn't want to do it. So he said, you know, that's improper for the workplace. He put his GED education on the line and probably put it in his work he knew it. But he needed that money. So he did it. And she wrote the check out again. And right before she put it in his head, she said, hit me, baby. One more time. And that's the story of Mr. Kevin Federline. <laughs> Would you rather be young and broke? Or old and rich, you know, like young and broke. Young and broke. Old Me and too, rich. man. Cause like, young and broke. at least young life and broke. is a little bit more exciting, you know. Like when you're old, if you got all the money, like it's too late. You can't use it. Like, what you gonna? Yeah. Do? yeah. Like, like I want a Ferrari when I'm still young. Like I don't want to be old and finally get my Ferrari like my lifetime present, you know. Like if I get a Ferrari, like I want, I want to be young enough to do something with it, you know. Um, right. I don't know what a Ferrari does for you, but <laughs> but, I, but I want to figure it out in my thirties. <laughs> no, in like thirties, I'm like, there's a part of me that's like, okay, I, I accepted the fact that I'm just gonna be an old dude. Like, if I have a family, I'm gonna be an old dude because in my thirties, man, I want to drive Ferraris and go to Europe and date models and like, I want to do it all. Like, I still haven't given up on the dream, you know? I'll be honest, it's not looking very realistic. I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a roadmap or a plan. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen, but like there's hope, you know. Obama said hope. I'm hoping, you know. I got dreams. <laughs> Hello, as y'all walk through the room, I appreciate y'all. Like y'all made a 10 second appearance. Like if it was a music video, you would get a credit. <laughs> But I got great self-defense skills. <laughs> I am what they call an escape artist. I'm good at getting out of inhospitable situations. Like I think it's better to say that we all been victims at one point or another of the passive aggressive street rapper. <laughs> this dude walked up to me. Hey my brother, hey, 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 hey. With each A get a little bit more aggressive. Like we was in a Walmart parking lot, like dang it, I knew I should have the target. <laughs> Cause I'll tell y'all, the worst neighborhood target is better than a Walmart in the suburbs. <laughs> like, you can feel them lurking when you go in the parking lot. Like, well, I'm gonna tell this dude I ain't registered the vault. <laughs> I'm gonna tell these kids I wonder they can't like why would I want your candy? You sell a big candy at retail price and the whole thing you bought it from behind you. Like, I like my candy air conditioned. I don't want no sweat box snickers. Uh oh yeah, but this joke is about rappers though. Uh, he gave me a little sample, which I will show you. Like, two shots to the dump, all chrome. Go home, back, 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 <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> I didn't see nothing smooth about it. Because he said two shots, that was six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can count. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's terrible aim, baby boy. I was trying to write these rap lyrics down, but I couldn't do it like this. Like, uh, I'll tell y'all in South Africa, man, if you want to get some rap music, you better get from the UK, you know, because them UK rappers, they spit them bars, you know? Like, I, 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 I'm so disappointed in American rap music now. You know, I turn this shit on, I'm like, man, we this is the shit we making nowadays? You know, all these songs and lyrics and harmonies, like, just spit that fire, nigga, 16 bars, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't worry about the hook. The hook ain't your job, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your job. That's the executive yeah. producer. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, you niggas done got Canadian eyes, you know? Like, you can, like, <laughs> that was a, that was a rare rarity, you know? Like, I was so disappointed for like 10 years. I was like, they was like the best rapper in the game. Ain't from America. I was like, oh shit, where are you from, dog? It was like, Canada. Like, Canada? <laughs> What the fuck? Them, them maple syrup motherfuckers. <laughs> since we got South Africans in here, I will, since I was talking about food, like, y'all got a delicious, you know, I see you, Kawana, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, y'all, got, y'all got this food out there. It's called Bunny Chow. You know what I mean? Yo, you know about- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, I know about that Bunny Chow, but do y'all know how Bunny Chow was made? Like, the first time Bunny Chow was made, you know how it was made? Is a horny chef, you know. He was he's trying to get some pussy. He's like, man, I want my food to remember the joy of pussy. So he took a a, a piece of bread, cut that shit in half, <laughs> folded it out, put some food in there. He was like, when they come to my restaurant, they finna get some of this mouth pussy, and they gonna put five star reviews on that Yelp, you know. <laughs> um, I think that pizza. Is like the official food of depression. Because <laughs> whenever you go pick up that pizza, they always just assume you got friends waiting on you. <laughs> and a guy, I just take that pizza straight to the face. Sometimes lunch, the just lunch. Sometimes I'm feeling smart. I'm making two meals, lunch and dinner. <laughs> That's just set up to roll into my next job. Um, <laughs> McDonald's irritates me, man, but it really could be any fast food because they always ask me the same stupid ass question. Like, is that it? Is that all? Does that complete your order? And my answer is always no. (laughs) And it hurts my feelings because I feel like when you go to fast food, like after you get past that fourth item, you can see their eyes start to change. Like, I think this motherfucker's trying to eat his problems. <laughs> and they're right. But they ain't got no right to judge me like that. Like, sometimes I get slick and send myself a text message with my order. And I read it like I'm reading like a text message. Like, I, I don't think they want onions and pickles on that <laughs> But I, 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 they start to catch on, so I delete. Obviously, you send yourself a text message. There's two copies, so I had to delete the first one and then text myself after. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the double cheeseburger does it for me. Like, <laughs> like they used to be dollar. I get four. You know, like I don't get no fries or drink. I just like I like value. Like when I'm spending four dollars, I want four burgers. I don't want no fries. I don't want that. They did it. Tell me a two dollar fifty cent soda. Like I'm good. I got water at the house. <laughs> and then they. When they switched it from double cheeseburger to McDuck, <laughs> you could have still put the cheese on the top. Like, why didn't you put the cheese in the middle? Of the th- I don't like onions and pickles, right? So I take it off. But then it's just ketchup and bread. <laughs> That's what make me want to cry. You know, like, I like flavor, you know? I want to taste cheese. Cheese on burger. So I want the cheese in the middle. I got a fucking hamburger. I seen a, I seen this dude smoking a cigarette outside the gym. You know what I mean? Like, like, like he got it all, like all the way to the stud before he flicked it. Cause you know how the gyms they got these like queue lines where they gotta wait in the line and they got, it's like gyms are like by appointment now. And uh, I was thinking like, doesn't that defeat the purpose? You know, like. You, <laughs> You can't conquer the treadmill and suffer from, you know, cardiac lung disease. Like you, you gotta pick one. You can't 
you can't have both. You know, you can't win them all. You know, and uh, I don't know why I thought this, but like that when I seen it, it was like so poetic. You know, it, it like made me think of like a Dr. Seuss rhyme. You know, like 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 one puff, two puff, three puff, four. When them cigarettes catch your ass, you gonna be lying on the floors. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Transition. I hate strip clubs because they always try to upsell me. Like, why well, I gotta pay money to watch you practice dance in the back room? I just came to support the show. <laughs> like, we're all comedians. That's like saying we get up here and we do our set, and then we go outside and we catch them and say, hey, um, why don't you come with me to the back room? For five minutes, fifteen dollars, I give you three of my regular jokes in private. <laughs> 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 they know names always at the cars. Like, bitch, you ain't no Mercedes. Like the tempo. <laughs> 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 For those of you who don't know, that was a car by Ford in the 90s, and it was like the bucket joke of elementary school kids. I don't know, this joke, like, sometimes I want to punt on a joke. But it's too late. Mr. already got blocked and ran back for a touchdown. I don't know. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Sometimes I won't cry. But I can't summon the tears. Because I don't drink enough water. <laughs> I know that's a personal problem. <laughs> I just trying to tell y'all how I'm feeling inside. Like, you ever go to a cliff, you see the waves hit the shore, and it's like, <laughs> like it's rocky, like a not a good day? That's like my insides right now. <laughs> um, I have one more. Like, I know y'all thinking he ain't got another minute 30 left in him. I do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like charity, just throwing your money away. So let's, 